to this temple and the entrance to the Rahu Street Night Market. So, prepare for a food tour. Sign ahead says no drone flying allowed. Those of you who come with drones. Maro's already going to join their queue. So we believe it's the meat buns we've seen on YouTube. It's a lovely smell coming from there. I'll just move it a little bit closer. It's like this is the must eat thing for all YouTubers visiting Taipei from what we've seen on the videos. the famous buns hanging on the side of the oven looking very crispy and well baked looking forward to trying this very much look at that as quickly as the bun come out of the oven they give it to a customer and the name of this place is quite easy to find it's right by the entrance when you come in Two. Yes. So now we're gonna find a little spot where we can eat our buns. So as you can see behind us, the queue has just suddenly gotten very long. We are both very much looking, at, well I think I speak for us both, we're both looking forward to tasting this bun since we saw it on uh, a few YouTubers' YouTube channels. So let's taste it. Here we have the bun, comes wrapped in a piece of paper. Nice little piece of paper. It's extremely hot in my hands. I'm gonna take a chance anyway. I'm gonna try not to, well I have to touch it with my fingers. Okay, a little bit, look at that. That's where it's stuck to the side of the oven. The top is covered in sesame seeds. Okay, here comes the bite. Mm. Oh, the team. Yeah. <laughs> mm. You get some filling or mm. it's got a little bit of filling. But the taste is good. Very, very good. It's been worth waiting for. I'm glad we took one each. <laughs> I took mine out from the back so it's getting cooler, a bit quicker. So. <gasps> that was a big bite. What's the verdict? I just cut the dough. It's very nice. Street snack is not getting better than this. Mm. What's not getting better? Street snack. Yeah, okay, street snack. Mm. Let me have a look. Mm. If I can zoom in without it getting too dark here. It's really beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, look, at the juice. look at the juice juices. dripping out. She's yeah. really getting into it. Look at the juices. Wow. Even part of the side. Okay, so what the other YouTubers have been saying is correct. Mm -hmm. They are very good and they are worth waiting in a line for. I'm going to leave you at this point so we both can eat our buns without having to hold a camera in the one hand and a bun in the other. It's quite difficult. Yeah, it is. Yes. Right, now we finished the bun. Now it's time to move on down through the market. Looks like it's a very long market. We'll go all the way down in one direction and then we'll come back in the other direction. We'll stop every now and again if we find something we want to taste and then we'll film it as best we can and then we'll carry on filming the market again. But just over here we have some candy. Must be some kind of Chinese candy. Taiwanese, sorry. Also jewelry, it's not just food at this market. On each side of the road are normal shops like this. Pharmacy cosmetics kind of store. You can already see that this market is pretty big, so we're going to skip the non food things and just focus on the food stands and show you what there is here to eat. Comes from squid, and the stand next to the squid, stick, squid stand seems to be very popular also. Beautifully presented. 
I really smell them grilling there on the grill. Here we have what looks more like a normal restaurant, full-time restaurant. you want to have it with sea salt or hot and sour etc. Maro just ordered us a Taiwan abalone also. That's the one you can see there that just went out of focus. Thank you. Uh, that's for the other one, yeah. <laughs> I know them Thank from you. South Africa, the bigger ones. We call them Perlamun there. They're very delicious. Of the abalone. And, uh, I believe they're the clams next door. We just got our Clams, they look delicious. Just with salt and pepper on Did I try this? Yeah. Mm. I love scallops. It's really good. Romano, don't drag the food video out. Tell the people whether it's good or not. It is good. It's good? Mm. You taste the scallop, can you taste mm. the sea? Oh yeah. Let me come and look at and have a look. Mm. And I get to have the second bite on the stick, which makes it a bit more difficult. Can you see me anything? Yeah. Sorry, this is the first time we're really doing sort of a foodie kind of thing, so just getting used to eating and holding the camera. Nice grill, huh? Nice and juicy still. Fresh, juicy, cooked, but not overcooked. No. Really nice. Really enjoyable. Mm, the only one to wait. Mark is already filling up. I'm really looking forward to tasting the Zabala. I think that needs lemon, Maro. We chose to have our Zabala with lemon and pepper. Thank you. Oh, that looks lovely. First bite is yours because it's the smallest one. <laughs> This is going to be an interesting tasting for Maro. She's never tasted abalone before. No. And if I remember correctly, it's delicious. Now let's see if she likes it too. Huh? What did I tell you? I love seafood. So it's a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Mm. Yes. So I took the second one because it was a bit bigger than Maro's. Mm. And I know what I'm getting myself into. But you did it in one bite? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Mm. It's like a mm. mix of scallop and... Mm. And it's uh, sweet, sweet. It is. I'm chewing it for as long as I can because it's so good. I'm not going to swallow yet. Mm. Here we have a sit down area. Something deep fried in front of me that looks good. Whatever this is, it looks delicious. And here we have sugar cane juice, freshly pressed sugar cane juice. It's pressed in that machine just in front of us here. They come little plastic bags. We've got to have one of those to share, I believe. Brilliant. Lovely. So we came from down there. Behind Maro. Sugar cane juice time. I don't think there's so much 
fruity in this. Sugar cane juice is always good if it's fresh. So refreshing. It is fun. I don't drink all of it. In Singapore, you almost suck the hell out of that cup. There was almost nothing left for me. My turn. This is a fresh sugar cane juice for sure. You can taste the plant in it, and you can taste the sugar, and it's fresh. It's ice cold also. Oh, what kind of cooling mechanism? It must have ice blocks in there. Yeah. Thumbs up. Very good. It was 35, uh, yeah, 35 Taiwanese, Taiwanese dollars for a little one. I'm not sure what that is over there, but it looks like a giant watermelon or a giant cucumber of some kind. We have some red beans and some mung beans. They're being dipped in some kind of a batter. You can see the bean over there. Yeah, on ice. They're sold by the bag. Let's see what we have here. It's like some giant fried chicken. It's not the one, the famous one. It's still big though. I've never seen a brown corn before. Just wondering if that even is a corn, this one. to be popular. Sorry. Look how the market continues down the alley. We get some fresh fruit. And juices again like before. Lots of fruit here ahead of me. That's another shopkeeper with her stock for the day. It does look like prawn there. Some big yeah. jars of juice. Some dessert looking things. What are those? Any idea? The mung beans. What? Yeah. Unique fruit here. Careful work going to that. So over here we have some mussels or some clam like shellfish. Look at that. Kind of a just having a look behind me again from where we came. Look at these beauties Maro just found. Some kind of stuffed meat. Look at that. Let me definitely not get home, so should we take one and sit down? What is this? Pork and vegetable? Pork, pork. Pork? One? One, yes. one please. Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. So we just got something from there, grilled. We're not quite sure what it is. We know that it's, it's pork. pork. and a lot of spring onion inside, I believe. Let me just come in and have a closer look. It smells good. Take a bite. I'll take the whole thing. Oh, I thought you, you were brave and you said you were taking the whole thing. You spoke too soon? Mm. Nice, but it's one hell of a portion. It's a big portion. Mm. But are you enjoying it? Pork is nice, but I think there's too much onion for my life. Too much onion. Mm. Okay, so it doesn't get a full thumbs up, I can hear. Mm. My turn. I can already see now when I'm putting the stick into this one. There's a lot of veggies. A lot of onion. Look at that. Onion, I believe. Well, there's a lot of veggies in there. Yeah. I'm going to do it in a one, one bite. Was it hot? And I, not at all. No, it wasn't that hot. And uh, the one bite of trademark doesn't belong to me. That belongs to... Mr. Mark Wiens, but I'm just going to use this phrase for now as a one biter. It's a classic. Mm. This tomato says is very good. I apologize for speaking with my mouth, but I must just go quickly. The 
I'm just moving the gas here. It's really good the meat. The vegetables. The vegetables are good too. But uh, a little bit too much veggie. It dominates the taste. So half a thumbs up from me too. Let's continue eating. It's a good portion you can say. If you're hungry you'll drink this. I'm still chewing as you can hear. I'm just eating the pork. <laughs> And just a few onions. Her mother didn't tell her to eat veggies with her meat. What a Kool-Aid they mixed there. Not sure if that's meat in front of me. So the head we've got some more fruit coming up. Just had a taste here from this lady. It's lovely fruit. Very, very sweet fruit. It's lovely. If you get the chance, try it. Sushi! Here we have our favorite from Thailand. Potato stick. Swirl, as Maro calls it. Just in front of me we've got some chicken coming. Some more food stands. Looking like some kind of deep fried chicken. These are the first sausages I've seen along the route. All looking good. Just to the right of the stand we have a sort of real restaurant. And also a sitting down area here. You bought your food. Looks like there's a restaurant here, or maybe it is that one there in the center. Here we have the tofu stand, from what I can smell. This is stinky tofu. The steam coming up there. That's it. That smells like stinky tofu. Shaved ice stand. Very busy there. They're cooking up some oyster omelets here. See? Fresh egg on top of that. Now it's starting to look like a fresh omelet, but the veggies in it. Anyhow. Oh, how are you? Fine and you. Hey. Good, good. What are you selling? As I mentioned earlier. There's so few customers here that pricing and menus are basically written in Chinese. Maybe some Japanese here and there because there are a lot of Japanese tourists in Taipei. In a nice eating area here in the center of everything. People are gathering and enjoying themselves. Nice fresh mushrooms here. Mm, if you like mushrooms, look at those things. Right here with those big blocks on. I know they're not chocolate. I found out now this is sugar tea. It comes in blocks. Just getting a taste of it now. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Boy, oh, cold. cold. Uh, yes. One block. One cup. One cup. One block. One cup. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There we go. We bought a uh, ginger tea. Thank you. Yeah, Seems to be a speciality here in Taiwan. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Here we have a few more drinks. And come some more food up ahead. Now I'll have to pack a bag with the tea we just bought. Here we have a few more squid. One for 80. Two for 150. Also looking very fresh. Look at those on the grill there. Lovely. Fresh ones coming up there. Looking extremely fresh. You're not going to get bored when visiting this market. It seems to be endless so far. We have another of the eating areas.
people enjoying the spring here in Taipei. Just ahead of me here we have the prawns and some crabs. Look at that. Looking really good. A few shellfish also. These shellfish here, they must be the smallest ones I've ever seen. Eating shellfish, I mean. Looks like it's already strawberry season in Taiwan. A while before I was already in Europe. Now on the other side of the road we again have one of the legit kind of restaurants. Fruit and nuts. Stand with I'm quite sure what it is. Like sauce. Uh, now I know it's I think it's okay. <laughs> They're selling dried vegetables. We just tasted a dried okra. It's delicious. <laughs> Lovely Friday evening here at the market. So there's a full moon up there. This looks like some kind of octopus omelet. This. And we have the whole pig. That's a real beauty. And we have fresh papaya. What you quick? That's what it looks like inside. There you go, they have a fresh papaya. We have the strawberry sticks we've also seen on other YouTube videos. We're not going to eat them because you've probably seen everybody else eating them already. So we'll try and find something else to eat. Looks like a little bit of pinball here. More games. That's the direction we're coming from, up there. And here comes more food and drinks. Oh, look at those sausages up ahead. There's a stand with some beef bourguignon, if I pronounced it correctly. We all know from my from our other videos that uh, my French is very good. Somebody smiling over there. Something very unique looking. If any of our Taiwan viewers know what this is, please let us know down in the comments. Some fresh pineapple. I'm sure whether this is literally frog eggs or whether it's just some kind of juice. Sounds like a plant grows just ahead. Get to the gas source. I can see it there in front of me to the left. Gas grows deeply. Look at that. Wow. Okay, we decided to do like all the other YouTubers have done already. We had to taste this. It's Angus beef. It's good. How much was it? 100. 100 Thai, Taiwanese bat. Oh, bat, mm. Taiwanese dollars. Mm. For that portion there. Mm. So my turn to taste the beef. We bought it at this place here. Put Angus beef. You see that? Mm. Me. No, I haven't had such a tasty piece of meat since I left in South Africa. That's honest food. Mm. That's good. Mm.
I will lick the bowl after this. Oh. I think it's time for bubble tea. Yeah, bubble milk tea. How many? Just one. Just one, one. okay. Bye bye. bye. Mm, the stinky tofu comes sneaking in everywhere. You're smelling the stinky tofu. Thank you, thank you, Sijem. We ordered the bubble tea milk tea and it cost 50 Taiwan dollars. Thank you very much. Thank you. Before we drink our bubble tea, I'm going to show here for a look. It's like a mushroom stand. Fresh mushroom. Salt on my hand. And it's once again time for a refreshment. Marlo gets first try. I see bubbles going up. Bubbles up. Sweet, but otherwise it's just milk, I think. It's just milk? I think we ordered wrong today. Maybe there's a little bit like a tea taste on the milk, I'm not sure. That means it's not a good one. I'm not looking forward to this because I'm not a milk fan. Sorry, I just got lost in my own thought today. It's basically milk. I don't know where the tea is. It's not the bubbles. So the bubbles on the bubbles. Oh, it's cool. Still refreshing though. Let's drink our bubbles here. Show me the smell what's coming our way. That's the thing you talk for over there. Depends on quite a smell if that is it. Good news everybody. Here at the market there are also restrooms. Restroom to the left. Some good looking food. Shellfish. A small shellfish again. Look at these prawns and crabs. Lovely. More veggies. There's another one of the legit restaurants on the side of the street. More veggie dishes here. Be wrapped, I can see. Quite a little sandwich there. Nice and packed. There you have it. And still, the stores just go on and on. Beautiful looking prawns. Some more squids there. Okay. Really lovely looking squid. Some veggie kind of dishes here. We'll go in a little bit closer and have a look. Quite sure what they are. Very well marinated dishes. And we've got some veggies again. Looks like some kind of honey here. Big honey jars. And we're going straight ahead again. Let's see what's in the oven. Fish pastries. There we go. Yummy, look at that. Tried something like that in Kuala Lumpur. And they stuffed with all sorts of goodies, different flavors. Sandwiches. And we can 
continuing straight down. We need for a homemade ice cream. Lovely looking ones here. Lollipops, ice lollies. All sorts of, what are these, Mara spices or what? Veggies or spices. Mushrooms, dried mushrooms perhaps. For cooking. So we got some more pork dishes here. That goodies bubbling away over there. Intestines, etc. Stomach. Right. The lady with some lovely cake. Some soup dumplings being made. Have a soup dumpling. One ready. Another one being made. Watch him rolling it. Oh yes, he knows how to do it. There we go. One soup dumpling. Some juice again. So it's very refreshing. Got a thumbs up there, I think. Ah, yes. <laughs> Here comes another sausage stand. It's a picture of a wild boar. I wonder if it's wild boar sausage. Yeah, the lady's putting the sausages on a stick. Grilled over here. I can zoom in between the bars. It's like a hot fire. Some nice, uh, pretty raw sausage at the moment. I'm sure they'll be delicious when they're ready. So I'm here in the end of the uh, market now. We have to go up all the way up the other side. So we have another one of the so called legit restaurants on the side. Look at these oysters. Mm. It's a really good cake. Look how it is. Very sponge, sponge cake, very soft. Just had a taste of it. Very nice. Just over here, you've got some Pakistani food also. Halal. I can see that the ones there sitting in front of the stand are samosas. Nice cooking samosas. Here we have some more fruit, looks like guavas in the middle, some kind of apples, the first ones. And here we have the first pancake stand I've seen. And we have the sweet potato balls. I remember trying those in Thailand at the Phuket weekend market. So if you watch that video, if you haven't watched it, you can find it in our Thailand playlist. Now uh, some more. Meats being barbecued, fried. So we'll get the finished product. I don't really see what kind of meat that is. It must be pork. The hot grill. Uh, the food really is endless here. Some kind of sweet pastry again. Good looking. Looking food there in the pot. Not sure what it is. Again, some good smells coming from there. So somebody eating this on YouTube also. And this is the hot dog within a hot dog. So now let's watch the hot dog within a hot dog being made. Oh. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so we can see what's going on. Let's zoom out a little bit, sorry. Something in there. And the final sausage. There it comes. And it goes. I think it's a rice exterior. There we go. One hot dog coming up. All this yumminess, if I may say so. So much fresh produce. And here we go. 
<laughs> One line done. And we are at the end of the, at the market. But here we go. Starting again for the new market. Sorry, not the new market, the new line. That'll be down there in that direction. We'll be walking all the way up to where we start. And down the next line we go. Some strong smells coming from here and there sometimes. Not the kind of foods we used to. More close together here the stands. Or closer to the sides. Something called the honey potato. With lovely mushrooms. Yes. Later. Right. So this is kind of one of the other. I know. There's another little sausage stand. This time of the evening, there's quite a lot of people. Very few Westerners. So Westerners, we highly recommend a trip to Taiwan and to Taipei. Lovely place to visit. Some really yummy stuff there, I presume. Look at that bubbling there. More insights. Exotic dishes. There's foods in all shapes and sizes here. I have no idea what most of it is. Wow. That's something most of us will recognize. Mm, donuts. We have another market. Having all sorts of fried fruits and vegetables, I presume. Just look how busy it is here at the moment. There's another sugar cane machine. The sugar canes. We have the prices. We're having one sugar cane juice, and this one costs 60. When your feet start to ache in the market, you can head over for a massage. $500 for I don't know how long. A few more cakes, snacks, kind of cheese, chicken leg, steak, more dried fruits and vegetables and other things that can be dried. Foods on a stick. I can go. Look at that. Not sure what that is cutting there. It's a robot cutting some kind of tofu. I'm ah, lucky to catch that. Some more goodies here. And this lady. Some seafood cakes here. On top of the grill. And some more of these. Things here. We have the grilled octopus legs, which are very popular and also for photographs. Look at them turning there. Get in there a little bit closer. There you go, look at all that goodness. Somebody is freshly pressing a fruit juice there. The few goes past me. If I can get a glimpse over to my right, what's over there on the stand? Sausage. Some different kind of meats. A stick here. Just over here we got some kind of octopus omelette again. Cheese on it. Thank you. Corn. This is how they get burnt. Here we have another one of the 
legit restaurants. Another legit restaurant. Look at these oysters and some huge shellfish here. Here's something I've never seen myself. Almond drink. Tofu. It's now 10 past 8 in the evening and the market's still going strong. Some lovely seafood there. I can smell the prawns from here. Look at that. And we have the crabs in the corner. There we have the Chinese croissants. And this restaurant on the side. Ah, it's actually a German pork taco. We had them in Berlin and we we love them. Something being cut up there. There's some kind of cakes in the cabinet again. Anybody knows what those cakes are? Anybody coming from Taiwan or who just knows what they are? Please write down in the comments and let us know what they are. On a beer stand, craft beer. <laughs> so we have one of the local eateries again. These are these bean things again. Sold them early on. Yeah, yeah, Nice food being made here. Here we have some pan fried buns. I'm frying there. It's also new to me. As soon as I go and come from the pan, straight into the box. Here we have peanut susan and red bean. Oh. Right here. Another side food. Selling boiled squid. Fruit juices. Lovely broth. All those insides of the animal floating there on the surface. Seafood here. Yeah. Like the soft shell crab. A little garden cup of them. Or you can choose to have a cup of the prawns. <laughs> There's another booth with a local tea. You see it laid out on a basically on a big pan. I think it's a homemade specialty, this type of tea. Putting some toppings on it. Very traditional Asian dessert. And the boards in the middle of it. There you go. So we've got another exotic dish here. I've never seen this before. We have another one of the eating places in the middle of everything. Another restaurant on the side. A restaurant with plenty of fruit also. There's another stand with some dried fruits and vegetables. Very busy here. Some fresh buns. In. Fresh oil from the oven. And they're being cooled by this lady over here. Some chicken over there. Some more seating areas. And a lot 
of people coming from both the front way and the back way. There's a little side street on its own. Also full of food stands. Some more broths brewing. Some nice looking foods here. Some other kind of snacks here. And our last, everybody knows what these are. The Taiwanese viewers. Please let us know in the comments down below. Here we have some sweet and sour chicken with Chinese, Chinese krala. Remember these from Thailand we've had before. Sweetly scooped into the box. A little bit more squid as we make our way forwards. Here we have another little alley. I'm gonna go down those little alleys. We just gotta head towards the entrance. But you're not gonna starve when you come to this market. And there's something for everybody to eat, no matter what country you come from and what you normally eat. Little quail eggs. I'm sure what those are over there. Lovely little meats again. Look at them. It's like a self service. Put a little cup with them. And you pay. For the thirsty ones, you have another sugar can booth. All <laughs> well, the people still coming from the main entrance. Quite sure what she's selling there. It's, it's made freshly. Here we have some sweets. I tried a few of these earlier on today. More goodies. Approach the gate again. Hello, Hello. Nice donuts here. Donuts. Nice. 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 Original. Now we're buying some of these Chinese pastries. We like so much. We had them once in Kuala Lumpur and they were very good. We just bought a few of those cheese tarts. We'll eat them on the way out. There we have the gate. And we'll soon start wrapping this video up for tonight. So it's only fitting where we started. We end off. We started with a bun from this place. It was very, very delicious. And we do recommend you do it also when you come to this market. So we finally made it to the end here. It's nine o'clock. It was a long time filming. If you enjoyed the video, please leave us a like down below. It does help our channel to grow. If you enjoyed this kind of video and want to watch more like this, please do subscribe to our channel. Until next time, it's good night from me. Good night. Bye-bye.